It is 7 a.m. I've just woken up. I'm now about to meditate for a bit and then I'm gonna head to the gym and come back and I've got a lot of work to do today. It's actually Sunday right now, which is the start of my week. The weekend in Dubai is actually Friday and Saturday, which is quite odd, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. This video is basically gonna be me vlogging my week and also showing exactly what it's like to live in a five-star hotel for a month. I've been living in this place for about two and a half, three weeks now. I've got another week and a bit left. <laughs> So I've actually recently started using something called the six minute diary. It's basically a gratification book where you fill out things you're grateful for. I find it's really, really helping me, especially if I wake up in a bad mood or just feel a bit down. So I've actually just turned my phone on for the first time since about 10.30 p.m. last night. I've been trying to do this as much as possible recently. It's really helping me sleep. It's also helping me get out of bed and not just go on my phone in the morning. Not only that, but I've also had Instagram deleted for a couple of days. I'm having a week break off social media, which I think is always good to do. I cannot explain how much better I'm feeling because of it. So I've actually got a subscription to these bikes called Kareem Bikes, which are basically Boris bikes, but they're actually electric. It also only cost me 12 pounds for the month for unlimited use, so cheap. So I'm now cycling back to the hotel and I'm actually gonna order room service. So I just wanna demonstrate what the room service is actually like. I almost got ran over. Have a good day. One of the really annoying things about living in Dubai, especially when you go to a little corner shop like that, is the prices are so inflated. It costs four pounds for a carton of almond milk. This is actually a new book. I haven't started it yet, but I feel like it's very uh, relatable. How to work less and achieve more. And now it's time to finally get on with some work. I'm sat at my desk. I'm about to write the intro for my Burj Al Arab video. This is my little desk setup that I've been working from for the past month. I'm also going to give you a tour of the room later. Known as the only seven star hotel in the world. It is now indeed time to order myself some food. In room dining, speaker. Um, the marina breakfast, if that's all right. Orange juice, please. Double espresso, please. Thank you so much. Welcome to thank you. I'm going to try and get this done before my breakfast arrives in like 20 minutes. Hi, you all right, sir? We've got some mushrooms, tomatoes, hash browns, little muffins with eggs on, a lot of toast, got our espresso, also got orange juice, fruit, and a little yogurt as well. I've just consumed some caffeine, which always helps me work, obviously. Back to editing. All right, so the video is now finished. Adam is watching it, and uh, he's going to give us his review. It's awful so far. Oh, okay. I just had to add in the brand integration, do some extra bits as well. I've also made the thumbnail, which was super simple. But now I'm going to show you around my room. I have a bed. This is a lovely, massive Super King bed. It is so, so comfy. Shout out to Intercontinental. We also have a little sofa where I sit and read. Or of course, I sit outside on my lovely balcony. I have my little tree, my uh, clothes hanger, because I actually have a washing machine, which is great. And this is the view, which is just amazing. I love it so much. You can see the marina right there. I have this big TV as well, which I've barely used, but I've actually got HDMI cable which I just plug into my laptop if I do want to watch Netflix. This is my setup. I've got my MacBook on uh, this little stand so it doesn't get too hot. And then I can also use my keyboard and mouse so it's like at eye level. The phone where I can call for concierge or uh, in-room dining, everything like that, housekeeping to clean my room. I have this panel as well, which allows me to turn on all my lights and uh, also control the aircon. All of my shoes, I've just bought a brand new pair of running shoes. I also bought this penny board to get around, but I haven't really used it that much. I've been using the electric bikes, which you saw earlier. Here are the famous slippers from the Burja Arab, as you can see. Turn on the bathroom light. This is my bathroom. I have a sink, obviously, a toilet, again, obviously, and this uh, shower. I really don't understand why they have a phone next to the toilet. I guess maybe if I run out of toilet paper, oh, sorry. That is so rude of me to not close the, the toilet lid. I also get all these little toiletries, a comb, a shower cap, shaving kit, some, uh, what's this called? Mouthwash. This is what actually makes my room different to a hotel room. I have a kitchen because this is actually a residency. So uh, it's meant for people that are staying here for a long while or actually living in these. We have a dishwasher, which is very handy. We also have a washing machine, as I said, a fridge, which I only have water in. Some cereal, some Nature Valley bars. These are actually godly. These. Oh. Also, I have my closet. I have all my clothes down there. On this side, I just have my suitcases and then an ironing board. Josh and Kim are on their way to the hotel right now. We're going for dinner. Waiting for you. Why are you sad today? Because I was waiting for 
waiting for you and you take ages. I was just filming my hotel apartment tour. Oh, oh fucking hell! <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Go on, Adam. Go on, Adam. So it's now actually 10.53. I'm now back home in bed. I have my retainer in, as you can see and probably hear. I'll be filming another video tomorrow as well, which is great. I'm so excited. I always get excited to film videos. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. A bit of a different one to usual, a bit more personal. I can actually show you my life, what I get up to. However, I'm now gonna give you a tour around the hotel and show you exactly where I'm living. So this is it, the Intercontinental Dubai Marina. As you can see, that is the main lobby. And over here is my separate entrance because I'm staying in the residence. I'm currently in the car park. One of the great things about being in a five-star hotel is that we have a valley service. I'm not 21, so I can't rent a car, but this is Adam's car, which he's renting. There is also one, two, three, four restaurants in the hotel, two of which are unfortunately closed. Here is a nice little cafe where they sell sandwiches. We also have a pool, which is amazing for swimming. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but yeah, there's also a bar. Not only can you swim, but you can also get some big muscles in the gym. Good morning everyone, 7.09. Extremely tired this morning, even though I got a ton of sleep. Shut up. Gym in 10 minutes? Yeah. These are gonna be the death of us, Adam. We I'm really need to stop do. taking them. It's basically pre-workout in a can, with no sugar in actually, but probably has a ton of other sh** in. We've decided to have half before we go to the gym and then another half before we film later on. Hey, hello. <laughs> Have a good day, boss. Uh, Lovely little cycle. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Got my second breakfast, we've got sweet potato, there is some salmon, some broccoli, and some rice. Adam on the piano, come on, show us the skills. Absolutely beautiful vibes from Adam there. Didn't even know the boy could play piano. What a guy. All right, so I'm now ready. Just waiting for Adam to finish a work call and then we're gonna head out to film the video for the day. First though, I'm gonna sit out on the balcony for about 10 minutes while Adam is getting ready and do some reading. So it's just about 8 p.m. We have finished filming finally. I'm so, so tired. I'm literally ready for bed. I'm gonna show you one of the great things about living in a hotel residency. As you can see, my bed has been perfectly made with fresh sheets. I have not done this myself. I actually have cleaning twice a week included with my stay which is really good because my bathroom is all nice and clean. They also do all my washing up and uh, clean the floors. So the video for Wednesday has actually been approved. However, I still need to make a few edits, which I should be doing right now, but I'm so, so tired. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, so I actually ended up doing some work. I've been editing for like the past 45 minutes, just transferring some files. Me and Adam are gonna get some Subway. Patisserie chicken, foot long. It is extremely late to be eating. This probably isn't gonna do any good for us to eat, but let's go, Macy, come on. And here we are, Subway. It's open 24 hours. That is actually crazy. Hello, boss. How are you? Oh, toaster is still not working. Oh, no. Now, my friend, please. Yeah, yeah, you got my uniform as well. I wish. This looks insane. Have such a good night. Thank you. 11.33 is now time for me to head to bed. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dubai. So one thing I've actually realized over the past year is how important a morning routine is. Making a plan and sticking to it every single day and making a habit out of it. No matter how productive it is, whether you're going to the gym, whether you're gonna watch Netflix for 30 minutes and read, then draw, then eat, then have a coffee, just having a routine. If you complete that every morning, you're gonna feel accomplished every day and it will make all the other tasks in the day a lot easier to complete because you're feeling productive. Productivity isn't a measure of how busy you are, but of how able you are to do what you actually plan to do. 
Yes, sir, ski. Oh, I forgot my C4. Can you hold the door? Thank you. After a last minute save from the holy C4, we went to the gym, got in a great session. However, before having some food, Adam insisted on stopping to play the piano again. Beethoven is back in his favorite habitat. What song are you playing for us today? I forgot the name of the song, but I'm <laughs> playing it because the woman wants me to play it. Oh. <laughs> Episode four of Adam trying to chat someone off in my videos. Excuse me, I'm just being nice human being. Get on with it. All right, so it's now 1.45. As you can see on the side of my face, for some reason, a volcano has appeared. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see. I've just been editing for the past hour or two. Basically, whenever I do a brand deal, I have to send it off for it to get approved, and sometimes there are things they want me to change. That's what I've been doing, making edits. As you can see, the video is rendering. It says it's gonna take three hours. It'll probably take about 45 minutes or so. And I'll need to take my iPad, my headphones, and my notebook downstairs, because I actually have a meeting with my life coach, Thomas. Would you like to say hello? How's it going, guys? I'm gonna attempt to sort my life out and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. So excuse the fact it may look like I've just woken up, that is because I have. My life coach basically recommended me do these 30 minute naps if I felt too tired. However, I ended up sleeping for two hours, which was my own fault because I didn't set an alarm. You may be slightly confused right now if you don't have a clue what a life coach is or why I have a life coach. So I'm gonna basically explain. He calls himself a performance coach, someone that helps me achieve all my goals and everything I want to be achieving in my life and business and everything to do with that. We basically talk about all the things that stop me from achieving these goals, why I previously haven't been able to do them and exactly how I'm actually going to get everything done. We've been doing it since June last year, I think it is. I've been very on and off of sticking to it because I don't know, I guess I've kind of had some stages in the past six months where I haven't been too happy. It's obviously hard to do your work and get everything you want to get done when you're not feeling happy and you're not in a good mindset. He is so, so good at what he does. And as you can tell recently, I've been super productive. I've been uploading a lot. I've been really, really happy as well. And that is the main thing. Thomas's Instagram is on screen. So if you think you might be interested, make sure to uh, go give him a follow comment something in his uh, post and let him know how grateful I am. Anyways, I'm gonna sit back down at my desk. My manager is bugging me to send him some stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Catch up with you guys in a bit. So it's now 9 p.m. I've been cutting up the Uber Chopper video for a while. I basically finished. As you can see, I'm rendering out a bunch of files called proxy files, which means they're a lot smaller in size. So I can send them to Glenn. He can finish off the edit. My videos are always over like 100 gigabytes. So I can't just send them directly over the internet. It would take way too long. <laughs> My water, bro. <sighs> Me and Adam are about to go to Wagamama's somewhere over there, but we have to ride all the way around the marina. <laughs> oh dear, we're such children. Okay, so Wagamama's is closed. Yo, sushi is closed. We're going up to the top floor to see if anything's open. So I've ended up getting a bowl from tortilla. Adam has uh, got McDonald's. I've got spicy wings because there was a very limited option. Like, show them the options. You've got KFC, Mackey's, tortilla. They're not listening anymore. So I'm now back from the gym. I'm showered and ready as you can hopefully tell. Got some salmon, uh, potato wedges. Before I actually set my desk and get on with some work though, I need to meditate because it always gets me into a great mindset to actually get on with everything I need to be doing. I need to film a brand integration and then I need to finish editing the video for next week because it's due today. I think we've done like four videos in the past month. Hopefully this is giving you guys a bit more of an insight as to how much time I actually spend on my videos. So it's somehow 4 p.m. I've edited the whole intro to the Uber Chopper video. I've also filmed the whole of the brand deal for the Uber Chopper video as well. I'm now gonna go get some food, get some fresh air, and possibly get my hair cut. I do love being here, but it's so hard to sit inside all day when the weather outside is like that. Wow, not a cloud in the sky. And I am back in my lovely apartment studio, whatever you want to call it. I love this hotel so much. Only problem is it's quite small. It's really expensive for what it is. I think that's the only issue really. I never thought I'd be able to properly live in a space this small, but I've been doing absolutely fine. I absolutely love my desk setup. It's so good. Okay, so I completely forgot to vlog this evening. I was focusing on getting my video up. It is 10 minutes past midnight. I'm getting to bed a bit late. One more day of waking up at 7 a.m 
and then I have the weekend where I can wake up whenever I want, which is amazing. Another great productive day in the bag. I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m. Good morning, everyone. It's about 7.39 right now. I've just been replying to comments. I have eaten my cereal. I feel like this must be getting boring if I'm doing the same thing every single day, but I'm about to go to the gym. Then you spend a lot of time today getting my video for Monday ready. I'm going to be absolutely furious if this hasn't been auto-saved. Like, so angry. Oh, okay, there was one saved a minute ago. Do you want to open that previous project? Yes, I do. Please. Um, I'm not sure where all my project is gone. Stop this! Stop this! Why me? It just crashed again. Brilliant. Alright, so I've just come to the restaurant downstairs. Hello, Adam. Hello, mate. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good as well. I'm about to show him the video. I finally got it working. It crashed on me like four times in a row. Good alcohol. Put it up. Oh. And it's only 3 p.m. No, but it's a Thursday, which is a weekend in Dubai. Excuse me, could I get a strawberry mojito, please? Oh, I've just, that's what Thank I just you. ordered. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. I've had better mojitos. I'm just showing Adam the new video to get his opinion. Not that it really matters. All right, don't attack me for getting fish and chips, but I've just got sea bass with a portion of fries. It's obviously not cheap here. It's a five-star hotel. However, I do have 20% discount because I'm staying here for such a long time. Adam, how was your beef? All right. All right. Eight out of ten, you get me. So I've just got back to my room, it's been cleaned again, I've got fresh sheets, I've got new towels, been hoovered, everything like that, which is just amazing. And they've also bought my Amazon parcel up to my room. Now to do some more work, get that video rendered, uploaded and approved, and then I might go get my hair cut, finally. So it's somehow now 8.15, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you guys. I've literally just been sat at my desk working. As you can see, the next video has been uploaded, I've done the title, the tags, everything like that. So I'm now actually on my way to go get a haircut, however, it is raining. Like, this is the first time I've properly experienced experience rain in Dubai. This is a very, very rare occurrence in Dubai, but it's made me actually miss the rain. I never thought I'd say that. Trim acquired, although my forehead looks like I've been shot by a BB gun a hundred times, which is great. Adam. Yes? What's the plan? I don't know, I'm kind of tired. That's what happens when you drink 47 vodkas. It's your heart. <laughs> Just because you got a camera mate, don't think it won't Good morning everyone. So it's currently Saturday. No, it's not. It's Friday morning right now. Feels like a Saturday because it's the first day of my weekend. I'm actually in bed for once. It's 10.30. I'm still in bed. It feels so good to actually have a lion. This is one thing I'm actually trying to do right this time because I've had periods before where I've worked really hard. I like proper put my head down, you know, every single day getting up on time, doing my routine and just working but taking time and taking days to do absolutely nothing is so essential if anything interesting happens i'll let you guys know but i think i'm not going to be doing much today to be honest so i've just plugged my laptop into my tv as you can see luckily i've got my keyboard and mouse in bed so i can uh control it from here which is really nice and lazy so yes we need one for the eight Hello! <laughs> Just having some dinner on FaceTime to Glenn, having a meeting. We all miss you lots. I see the comments, they're very cute. Thanks guys. <laughs> Everyone tell Glenn to fix a Jaguar. I really want to drive to Africa. I need to buy a Haynes manual and then we're good to go. And put in a few hours of labour. Okay, so let's talk numbers. How much do I actually pay to live in this place? I believe it's about 9,500 dirham a month, which is about £1,800. I know what you're thinking, that is so much money to live in a studio this size it is very expensive however i do get my room cleaned twice a week i also have access to all the amenities of a five-star hotel i can get room service if i have any problems they will come up straight away and sort it dubai is a very expensive place to live in even if i was to get just a place on airbnb a pretty standard place in this area it would cost me about one and a half thousand pounds maybe two thousand pounds maybe even more i could stay in a much cheaper location however i don't have a car and i would spend so much on ubers i really like to be able to walk to the shops or walk to the restaurants for me being here is so worth it i spend a lot of my time in my room so it's important to have somewhere nice i've never been working this hard before and as a result i'm uploading more than i ever have and as well as that the most important thing i'm happy which is you know, that's a good thing. Congratulations to everyone still watching. You have made it to the end of the video. You are a certified legend. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below, turn on all the notifications. And uh, if we can get 15,000 likes, I will start vlogging on my second channel sometimes.